Hi class, good morning. So we are on our chapter 8 or uh, the next chapter after your freshwater ecosystem. I had actually congested some of the topics no, so that you won't be able to finish the discussion. So for this chapter, we're going to discuss the, continu the continuation once again of your freshwater ecosystem. And we'll not only be looking uh, on your freshwater ecosystem, but instead, we will also be looking at your terrestrial ecosystem. Now, let me just <clears throat> run through with my presentation. For your terrestrial ecosystem or your biome, so let's define what's biome no, or world terrestrial ecosystem. Now, your biome or biomes are large-scale environments that are distinguished by characteristic temperature ranges and amounts of precipitation. Now, uh, on a greater scale, no, so your biomes are environments for short. Just like, for example, uh, your biome will <clears throat> will be the, a, a a more uh, general uh, term use to describe a larger environment, such as your desert. That's your that's that's a that's a practical example. Now let's go through with uh, your biomes. Now there are eight major ter terrestrial biomes which were classified. Number one is your tropical rainforests. Number two, your savannas. Number three, your subtropical deserts. Number four, your chaparral. Your, number five, your temperate grasslands. Number six, your temperate forests and boreal forests. And number seven is your Arctic tundra. Now, we'll just be discussing few uh, since this uh, these are those which were highlighted in your book. Your book is a, a bit vague when it comes to its explanation. So, medyo mahirap siya intindihin. Kaya I have to consult other um, resources as well. Now, for your tundra, the cold, uh, tundra refers to the coldest and the driest of all biomes on Earth. Now, when you say tundra, meaning ito yung mga pinakamalalamig na and pinakadry na mga ba na biomes on Earth. When you say biomes, it's the larger scale it's a large scale environment okay so just uh, don't get confused later on of what do we mean to say by biome now uh, the major characteristics of your um tundra or the coldest and driest biomes on earth is number one it's extremely cold climate of course since it's the coldest number one um major characteristics of this in of this biome is its extreme cold temperature Number two, simple vegetation structure. Number three, your low biotic diversity. Since um, it's uh, intended to be cold, so diversity is not that much expected since there were only few species of animals or organisms that can survive in extreme cold. Now, there is also a limitation drainage. Why? Because of the extreme cold. Instead of... Uh, Instead of draining, for example, the water, and we freeze sha. So there is a limitation in the drainage, in the drainage. So that's a practical uh, explanation for your limitation of drainage, and also short season of growth and reproduction. Kasi nga, there is extreme cold. Now, it is also uh, referring to uh, energy nutrients in the form of dead organic materials and there's a large population oscillations now <clears throat> there were there are two major classifications of tundra or the coldest and driest of all biomes on earth number one is your arctic tundra and number two is your alpine tundra now let's go directly with your uh, let's let me just explain to you a bit about your arctic tundra your arctic tundra is located in the northern hemisphere Encircling the North Pole and extending south to the coniferous forest of Taiga. Now, your uh, nun, your your Arctic tundra is ref referring to, ano yung northern northern and southern hemisphere of the Earth, kung saan nakikita natin yung large uh, places wherein it's covered with ice. Now, for your Alpine tundra, this ito naman yung mga located on mountains throughout the world at high altitude where trees cannot grow. The growing season is approximately 180 days. 
Now, for your Arctic tundra, na basically, ito, yung almost buong kalupaan talaga ay malamig. Now, for your alpine tundra, it's just limited to a particular mountain. For example, um, uh, not all areas were covered with uh, snow since may mga areas lang talaga that are extremely cold. So that's what we mean by alpine tundra. Yung Arctic, both the northern and the southern hemisphere of the earth are covered with uh, uh, with cold temperature and even extreme coldness. For your alpine tundra, may mga areas lang that are cold for for the entire season such as your Mount Everests. So, yun lang. Yung area ng in Nepal ng Mount Everest is so cold, so extremely cold. That's alpine tundra. Now, let's go further. So, for your alpine tundra, now, it's unang classification kin na is your tundra. Now, I want you to also see taiga or your boreal forest. Taiga also called a boreal forest is a biome where major life zone of vegetation is found, composed primarily of cone-bearing needle leaf or scale leaf evergreen trees found in northern circumpolar forested regions characterized by long winters and moderate to high annual precipitation. Now, your taiga is also called, uh, it supports more life compared to your tundra. Now, the major characteristics of your um of your taiga is number one ang temperature is very low now we had discussed also about the precipitation the two forms of your precipitation or your precipitate is number one rainfall and number two is in the form of snow now since it's cold um the water vapor that will be precipitating after condensation will freeze mag uh, and will turn out to be a snow in form now your soil is thin acidic and nutrient poor why nutrient poor again there is extreme cold so uh, maybe some of the normal bacteria that should grow in the sand uh, were killed because of extreme coldness canopy permits low light penetration yung area daw yung yung light penetration is low yung flora kung flora ito yung mga tanim na tumutubo cold tolerant conifers pine, fir, and spruce, mga pine trees. Now, for your fauna or your animal, your animals, number one is your woodpeckers, hawks, ma moose, deer, fox, wolf, deer, bats, shrews, and chipmunks. So, yun lang. Tandaan nyo lang yan, class. No? There's nothing more not to discuss about that particular topic. Tandaan nyo lang talaga siya. The difference between your tundra and your taiga. Your taiga is able to uh, composed primarily of vegetation, of cone-bearing, needle-leaf, or scale-leaf evergreen trees. Now, for your tundra, it's the coldest and the driest of all biomes. Now, letter C is your tropical forests. Your tropical forests are characterized by greatest biodiversity of organism. Why? Um, since your tropical forest is also... Uh, let it, um, is is characterized by biodiversity. When say biodiversity, you know, there is a greater uh, uh, relationship between different na mga diverse na mga organisms. Why again in your tropical forest, such as your Philippines, such as in the Philippines, there is an uh, ideal temperature for growth among plants and animals. That's why in your tropical forest, dito nakikita yung mga magagandang trees, magagandang mga tanim, species of plants, and even animals. So for the characteristics of your tropical forests, so a tropical forest in temperature is in the average of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. It's a room temperature. Ito yung range ng room temperature natin, meaning it is really ideal for growth. Number two is in precipitation, it's... Uh, it's in the form of rainfall. We had understood that uh, there are two forms of precipitation uh, from after condensation of water vapor. Now, yung una is your snow or in the form of snow and number two is in the form of rainfall. Now, in your tropical forest, nasa 2,000 millimeter yung uh, measurement natin ng rainfall. Now, for the soil, nutrient poor pa din siya and acidic but it can support and the growth of some organisms and even uh, 
some some plants. Now, for your canopy, multi-layered and continuous. Uh, once you multi-layered, may enough light and continuous. Now, for your flora or yung mga tanim na tumutubo, it's highly diverse. And your fauna or lahat ng mga animals are uh, that, that, that can grow in tropical forests or thrive in the tropical, tropical forests are your birds, bats, small mammals, and even insects. Now, there is also so-called grassland biome. Now, for your grassland biome, these are characterized as plants dominated by grasses rather than shrubs or tree. Kanina yung tropical forests. It's tropical forest because um, it's mainly composed of trees. Ayan. Now, in here, kung hindi, just like your palmera, it's a grassland biome. Why? Because other than uh, the shrubs, I mean, uh, uh, hindi siya tinutubuan, uh, hindi siya dominated by trees, okay? But it's dominated by grasses. Now, there are two main divisions of your um, grassland. Number one is your tropical grasslands or your savannas. Don't need to, to explain about this. Just memorize this one. And your temperate grasslands. And letter E is your desert biomes. These are among the driest of all the biomes. In fact, the most important characteristic of a desert is that it receives a very little rainfall. Hindi little to no, nothing talaga yung rainfall in your desert. Now remember that most deserts receive less than 300 mm a year compared to rainforests which receive over 2,000 mm of rain, rainfall. Ayan, kung tatanungin ko kayo, ilang millimeter per year of rainfall does the, the desert biome contains or receives? It's 300 millimeter a year. Now, let's go back once again. So, for your for your, for the world, world's terrestrial ecosystem biome, it is divided into your tundra, which is the coldest and the driest of all biomes. Your taiga, also called as boreal forest or, or biome of vegetation composed primarily of cone-bearing needle leaf or scaled leaf evergreen trees found in northern circumpolar forested regions. And also, we've discussed about your tropical forest, such as your Philippine set, set up. It is characterized by greatest diversity of organisms. And um, basically, they are thriving kasi nga nasa room temperature. Okay. Now, for letter D is your grassland biome. For your grassland biome, these are characterized, characteristic lands which were dominated by grasses rather than trees and shrubs. So, so just like your palmera. Now, for your uh, grassland biome, it's divided into your tropical grassland and your temperate grasslands. Your tropical grasslands is also referred to as your savannas. For your desert biome naman, they are the driest of all biomes. Kasi nga, desierto. So, 300 millimeter uh, a year lang yung um, nare-receive niya of rainfall, amount of rainfall. Whereas in your tropical rainforest, nasa 2,000, meaning there is a significant difference talaga when it comes to the amount of uh, rainfall that this biomes receives. This receive. Now, for your environmental variable affecting the biomes, again, your sunlight pa ulit-ulit. Kanina, sunlight is the major energy source of all uh, animals and even plants here on Earth. Now, your temperature, again, of course, pag masyadong malamig, hindi naman masyadong tutubo no, yung environment or yung mga tanim sa environment na yan. Water in dissolved salts for your salinity. Pag masyadong salty naman yung yung, loop, uh, yung, ano ba, yung particular na area, so it will also hinder the growth of some, uh, of some organisms. Your oxygen, of course, uh, the oxygen level, the metabolic waste, and, and even your nutrients. So I think that is all. That's the um, part for your uh, sa terrestrial ecosystem. This is the coverage of your chapter 7 and chapter 8. I will send the video in a short while for your chapter 9. Thank you, class.